Where is it at? Come as you are. Give us chapter and verse. Come as you are. Where is it at? Come as you are. Come as you are. Where is it? So you're telling me that if I wanted to go to church, if I wanted to, just because, even if I overslept and I was tired, I'm telling you that coming as you are is not in the Bible. You can Google it. It's not there. Let's look it up. Let's look it up. Come as you are is not in the Bible. Well, I think, 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 I you're at the beach. You can go to church if you want to go to church. Hey, y'all just got famous. Hey. Before you go, before you go, you read you this. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. Go ahead, brother. Isaiah 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Don't put your hand in my face. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. You make me if you want to, you damn demon. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. You can't do what you want to do and serve the Lord. We tired of you niggas, man. You fucking women. The most high gonna destroy two thirds of his own people. They gotta go. Uh, Shalom. 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 This is Tazer Duck. Yeah, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Wakakadash. Pay double honors to the apostles of the elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and salutation for the hopeful like Akim that's pushing his word in true sincerity. So, we want to, um, um, we seen this video, the brother Manata uh, Zak from the brother in Carolina, the elder. And, you know, you had these two careless women. <laughs> you just, you know, parading around, you know, undisciplined, just looking like a bunch of goddamn whores, man. And. It's really out of order. That's the, the, the woman in Babylon, the great today, man. It's, especially the so-called black woman, first and foremost. They're Israelite woman, okay? And they just walking with that pride that, that you know, that, you know, that's not needed, you know? So, um, you know, we just want to do a little um, reply to this brother video. And, you know, it's, hey, man, you women, man, y'all better shape up because, hey, the scripture said, Every outer word you speak, you shall be held in, uh, in, in a day of held accountable in the day of judgment, and and that sticks. That's not that's not forgotten. The angels are taking notes, man. Right. All right, so we gonna go with this. We gonna get with the lesson. It's gonna be a quick lesson. So let's get with the scripture, brother. Come on, this is Second uh, Ezra chapter five verse eight. It says there shall be a confusion, also in many places. And what's that confusion? That confusion is Babylon the Great, Babylon meaning the land of confusion. Um, Babel, Babel, mean, Babel means confusion Alright What's what's the confusion? Women just running Walking around Walking like a bunch of sluts out here man Women talking down to men That's out of order Okay so that's a confusion Alright go ahead it says, There should be a confusion Also in many places mm -hmm. And the fire shall be off Sent out again That's right and the wild beasts shall change their places. Go ahead. And mistress women shall bring forth monsters. And there you go. So basically, for why I'm looking at the attitude of this woman, she 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 either don't have a father, she's been raised by her mother. I could be wrong, you know, but just by her attitude, that's from her mother. And her mother is a product of her um of uh, being out of order. And guess what she raised? This this monster right here, man. You know? They gotta have a pretty face, but you, when you have a bad spirit, you just uh, nothing walk a walking piece of trash, man. Okay, and that's true, and that and, and the Lord hates that, man. Okay, and there's plenty of examples when a woman is out of order, they going out of pocket. Okay, and he puts them to death, man. I mean, painfully. Okay, go ahead. That's it. This is uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Man. Go ahead. And this is uh, Isaiah chapter three verse sixteen. It says, "Moreover, the Lord." How about she now try to say because the daughters of Zion mm -hmm. are haughty mm -hmm. and walk with stretched forth necks mm -hmm. and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go and making a twinkling with their feet. So basically, the what it says the daughters of Zion is talking about the Israelite woman, the so called Negro Latino Native, Native American woman. Okay, they the ones who walk on who walks undisciplined. Think what they think. Think their shit don't stink, man. They walk with that pride, with their nose in the air, mm -hmm. with their high heels, with the booty shorts, man. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a totally out of order woman. That's right. Okay, and the Lord hates that, man. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Man, guess what? Hell is going to come upon you women real soon. We're right We're right at the gate right now. That's right. Okay, go ahead. That's right. It says, Therefore the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. What's the glory of a, of a woman's hair? A woman's head is her hair. That's right. Okay? Especially you so-called black women, man. What's the what's the glory of your head is your hair. And guess what? The most I took that away from you. That's why you're bald. Mm-hmm. Okay? That's why y'all get alopecia. That's why y'all can't grow your hair. You can't y'all gotta spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on products just to regrow your hair. Right. Okay? That's a curse for yeah. your for, for you being out of order. That's right. Okay? I, I guarantee you that female right there arguing with the brother has no edges. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead, brother. That's right. It says, uh, therefore will the Lord slack it. Therefore the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. So basically the Lord took the glory or took took the woman's glory, the crown of her hair, man. That's how, that's what he took off. And he, and guess what? He took more things off of you. Go ahead. And the Lord Yahabashmi Oshai will discover their secret parts. Mm -hmm. What's your secret parts? Your 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 vagina. Okay? Go ahead. Well, that's pretty much it on that. I got that Micah 7 and 10. Okay, go this, ahead. This is Micah chapter 7, verse 10. It says, Then she that is mine enemy. Why did why did it say that? That she is my enemy. Why? Because the Israelite man in America and throughout the four corners of the earth don't get no respect, man. These women don't respect us. Hey brothers, man, believe it, man. These women don't respect us, man. You can tell by a pattern how they speak to you. How they talk shit behind your back, call you different names. You think they playing? No, they serious. Okay? They don't respect you, man. That's why she's our enemy. Why? Because she's in hand in hand with these devils, man. The so-called white man and his system. Right. You could expound, brother, too. Yeah, yeah. Come because you know, you, like you was talking about with the hair and everything. Like this brother was telling me earlier, you know, they got this thing where these, you know, these um, black women... They, uh, they take this hair and they sew it in, you know, this lace front and, they, and you know, it's basically like a weave. They take the, they take those lace fronts and they sew it into their hair and it makes it looks like, look like as if that's their natural hair. And the, and the reason they have to do that is pursuing to that curse. You know, the Lord's, he, he, sm uh, he smited their crown, meaning that they're, 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 they're scalp. With, with baldness. That's right. You know, that's why these, and the glory of a woman is her hair. So the Lord took away the, the, the our, um, our women's glory, mm -hmm. you know, because of their, you know, because of them being out of order. Yeah, I, I want to ask you a question, brother. You know, this, this this is how we do videos, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, what custom did they get that with the, with the, with the sewn hair? Sewn hair. That, that, that actually came from Egypt. With the with the woven hair, the uh, weaves, yep. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they basically put it on the heathens' hair on their heads, man. Right. Yep. Go ahead. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna read from the top again. It's uh, Micah chapter seven, verse ten. Mm -hmm. It says, "Then she that is my enemy shall see it and shall c cover." Like and shame shall cover her, mm -hmm. which said unto me, Where is the Lord? You how about Shemal Shah that power? Yeah, because these women, because they talk really shamelessly upon, upon, uh, onto the men. Okay? All right? And, and guess what? This is all through the Lord who did this, man, because us men, we were out of order at the time, so he made a new thing. Right. He had women come past the men just to, you know, put in our faces of our errors. Mm -hmm. But guess what? The, the, the men and the Lord, the hopeful elect, is, is come back to their senses and know what's wrong, what's going on in society. So when we see women out of order, that's a that's a vexation of the spirit, man. Right. It's vexing to see that, man, to see our women act like a bunch of animals, man. Right. Okay? And that's why, you know, we give all praise and glory to y'all, Bam Shai, when we see your woman more, more, morbidly be put to death, man. Okay? We love that shit, man. Yep. That's right. That's right, and then that, and that's also an indication of who the Israelites are, mm -hmm. because no other group of women fit that 
privacy, but the, the so-called Negro women, mm-hmm. also the Latino women as well, that's but right. mainly the so-called Negro women. Yeah. That's how you know that, that that's the Israelites. That's right. That's right? right. It says, um, then she that is my enemy shall see it, mm-hmm. and shame shall cover her, uh-huh. which said unto me, where is the Lord, you how about Shemar Shah, thy power? Yeah, they're going to talk all that shit. Mm-hmm. They say, oh, why you out there teaching all the time? Where, where's your Lord at? Yep. Well, we supposed to come as we are. This is church. We come as that's a Luciferian doctrine. Right. That came from Alistair Crawley, man. That's that do the art, the wilt spirit, man. Mm-hmm. Okay. We see. That's not in the scriptures. Come as you are. Right. right. Damn harlot. Go ahead. That's right. It says, <laughs> my, "Mine eyes shall behold her." Yeah, we're gonna remember every female that talks shit about us. We're gonna be on that 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 power. We gonna remember every word what you say to us. So we go, we gonna remember everything what you say. We gonna remember you. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. That's right. It says, "Mine eyes shall behold her. Mm-hmm. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the street." She gonna be trodden down, meaning stomped down like the mud on the streets, man. Mm-hmm. And then guess what? That's death by pain. That's right. Because all the sh- all the shit you talk to the men of to the men of the Lord is gonna come back into you twofold, man. Yep. Because the scriptures say when you um what's that when you offend our little ones? It'd be better if you a millstone were tied about your neck and you were cast into the sea. That's right. That's right. Yeah, and, and the Lord remembers all that, man. Yep. Okay. And it's a beautiful thing, the brother. You know, you know that demon was trying to get him out of character. But you know it's vexing to see that man you know it's a beautiful mm-hmm. thing that brother was, was in the spirit man that's right you know even though it was vexing to him but it was a beautiful thing that he was in the spirit man mm-hmm. and that's as as every brother should be right. okay it's gonna be times when your woman's gonna go out of pocket and try to disrespect you mm-hmm. all right but we gonna have to keep pushing because those are demons mm-hmm. testing the brothers man testing us okay mm-hmm. I, hey man you women better shape up man because that t- the time it's coming, Jacob's trouble. And I tell you now, you women gonna be in a, in a world full of hurt, man. Mm-hmm. And guess what? They're gonna be no man to save you. That's right. Um, can you give me that scripture? A man should be like a... Um, a hiding place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We gonna end it with that, then you can expound, brother, on that scripture where you gonna mm-hmm. put up. Okay? Yeah, brothers, man. This ain't no joke, man. This... You know, every, every out of word they speak, that should be held accountable in the day of judgment, man. See our people our people don't take heed to who they talking to. No. Okay. I got it. This is uh Isaiah chapter 32 verse 2. It says, "And a man shall be a, as in hiding place from the wind and a cover from the tempest." Yeah. Right because it's going to be all all hell's going to break loose in this society. Just like when um, when you watch that movie um the old Terminator, the first one, the man the guy that was protecting Sarah Connor, he was like that 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 cover for that that storm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because everywhere, you know, the Terminator was, you know, sent back to kill Sarah Connor. The, the guy that was sent to protect her, he was that covering for her. That's he right. was that protection for mm-hmm. her. So it's, that's the times that we're approaching. That the man is talking about right here is talking about the elect. It's talking about the men that's out there diligently. You know, uh, and sincerely serving you. How about Shmi Shah? That's right. That's gonna be the man. That's gonna be a covering, mm-hmm. not no, not no average Joe off the street. That's right. That's All right. right. It says, and a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, and a cover from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. And so, like you know, when you know when it's hot, you're looking for shade. Mm-hmm. You know, you're looking for a covering. That's so. That's how a man, uh, uh, the men of the Lord, going to be in that day. You know, right. and a lot of these women, they're going to be in a sorrowful state because, you know, a lot of them, you know, like the brother was going to, a lot of them, they don't respect us. They disrespect us. You know, they talk to us any old kind of way, like we just any. But you can't talk. You can't talk to the men of the Lord like that, man. Exactly. You know, we, like the brother we quoted. Uh, if you offend those little ones that believe in Yahweh Shai, it would be better if a millstone was tied about your neck. Basically, you, you basically you, you putting yourself to death by doing that. That's right. That's right. Can you finish? Uh, you got more on that? That's it. Yeah, that's it. And finish reading the Michael seven and ten when it says, um, "Let us by your name be called." Uh-huh. There was more on that. 
I think it should be able to finish with that and then we'll wrap it up. <laughs> well, yeah, bear with us, brothers and sisters that's listening. All right. So, you talking about the day that the walls are to be built? Um, when it said, let us have your... Oh, no, give me Isaiah. It's Isaiah 4th chapter. 4 and 1. Yeah. Okay, this is Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1. Mm-hmm. It says, And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. So in that day, this is about the day of um, Jacob's trouble when all hell breaking loose. Seven women, not, it's not literally in seven. It could mean ten. It could be fifteen. It could be three. It could be two. They could say a complete about a woman of the Lord's choosing. Because these women is going to be part of the, the ones that's going to be saved. Okay. Go ahead. Right. In that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, "We will eat our, our, our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by that name and take away our reproach." Basically, they're gonna take care of themselves, but let it. But what they want is they want our covering. They want to be protected. Hey, I just got famous. They they basically want them to wife to wife them up. Man. Well, that's just what it is. Uh, they <laughs> you know what's so funny? Here, <laughs> you got women so called in the truth, man. I be catching them on social media. Cutting them. <laughs> they hate yourself. this scripture, bro. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> oh, man. See, that's how we know you're full of shit, man. Okay? It's all about sincere women, man. Women's with pride. And, and we can see when a woman tries. We can see what you want to do with certain yeah. Lord. Okay. We tell right. you niggas, man. That's, 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 that's what she was saying. They're the they going to be in order that day because that's what a woman's supposed go. to do. A woman's supposed to be able to, to pre- prepare food, cook mm-hmm. food, and, mm-hmm. you know, and, and sew and, and make uh, her own apparel. You know, see, nowadays these women, like the uh, like apostles, they was just corrected this one chick she had pants on the yeah. bar told her hey, yep. a woman's not supposed to wear pants that's not a woman's apparel mm-hmm. but see Esau he allows these women to have gathered abroad the scriptures speak about letting a woman gather abroad that's right you know what I'm saying and, and you know that's why we our people you know you know, being in that rebellious state that's why we in, in, in the condition we in right now that's right that's all yeah, that's all yep. I wanted was that part and yep. everything so um Hey, um, hope your brothers and sisters were edified. You yep. know, it was a quick lesson. We want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash. Hey, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation for the hope of that Akim that's pushing his word in true sincerity and bless the sisters that believe in this word. Sincerity of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, and depth to the two thirds of these women out here. Shalom. Shalom. <laughs>